Two and a half tons of vehicle shouldn't be this nimble. Yet the 2025 Aston Martin DBX 707 maneuvers through the tight, winding roads of Napa Valley with the grace of a smaller sports sedan. The DBX 707's dynamic performance isn't entirely new, and neither is its formidable 697 horsepower. However, both have been fine-tuned for this ultra-luxury SUV, which originally launched in 2021. The impressive agility I'm experiencing is thanks to updated tuning on an already sophisticated chassis, while the 697 horsepower engine is now the sole option, as the previous 542 horsepower variant has been discontinued for 2025. Additionally, Aston Martin has introduced a new infotainment system and made subtle styling enhancements both inside and out. Aston Martin DBX 707 Precision Tuned Chassis Weighing in at 4,940 pounds, the DBX is heavy, but it's far from cumbersome. It's 500 pounds lighter than the BMW X5M, despite being about 3 inches longer in overall length and wheelbase. This weight savings is partly due to a unique bonded aluminum architecture designed exclusively for the DBX. The result is a long 120.5-inch wheelbase, providing a spacious interior with minimal overhangs. The vehicle features a double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link independent rear suspension, both constructed from aluminum. The DBX also employs a suite of proven technologies to manage its weight, starting with a three-chamber air suspension and adaptive dampers with independent rebound and compression tuning. In addition, Aston Martin equips the DBX with active anti-roll bars at the front and rear, generating up to 1,032 lbfd of torque via a 48-volt system to counteract body roll. The air suspension can raise the DBX by 1.8 inches or lower it by 1.2 inches, with the Sport and Aero modes lowering it by 0.8 inches from its standard 6.9 inches of ground clearance. These features have made the DBX agile from the start, but the 2025 model benefits from a new suspension control module with refined parameters, allowing it to respond more quickly by stiffening for corners and relaxing for cruising. The system considers steering angle, throttle and brake inputs, and the vehicle's six-axis body motions, including forward and backward pitch, lateral acceleration, and side-to-side -side roll. On these occasionally winding, sometimes tight and twisty roads, the DBX 707 responds with precision, turning in sharply, rotating effortlessly, and leaning just enough to provide the driver with essential feedback. The steering, with its 14.4 to 1 ratio, offers a weighty feel that ensures stability in sweeping curves. It's also impressively quick, a crucial trait when navigating hairpin turns, adding to the vehicle's lively personality, quite a feat for an SUV primarily designed as a family hauler. Chief Engineer Andy Tokley explains that the active anti-roll bars in the DBX 707 can simulate the effects of rear-wheel steering, effectively shortening the wheelbase during cornering. To enhance the vehicle's rotation, the suspension controller initially stiffens the front anti-roll bar. Then, as the system detects lateral acceleration, essentially the forces at play during cornering, it stiffens the rear bar to guide the rear end through the turn. This feature is particularly noticeable on the notoriously tight and twisty Skag Springs Road, where, instead of experiencing understeer, the DBX 707 rotates smoothly through the corners. Aston Martin equips the DBX 707 with a robust set of standard carbon ceramic brakes, 16.5-inch rotors with 6-piston calipers up front and 15.0-inch rotors with single-piston calipers in the rear. These large brakes are up to the task of handling a full day of aggressive driving on mountain roads, though by the end of the day, the pedal does feel slightly spongy, a condition that will likely recover for the next driver. When it comes to dynamic performance, the DBX 707 ranks among a select group of crossover SUVs that I'd consider for tackling mountain roads or even taking to the track. This elite group includes the BMW X5M slash X6M, the smaller X3M slash X4M, the Porsche Macung and Kian, and the Lamborghini Urus. Aston Martin DBX 707, power in abundance. Beneath the DBX 707's sculpted hood lies a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 sourced from Mercedes-AMG, which delivers even more ferocity here than in its AMG counterparts. It's a formidable engine in any setting, but Aston Martin boosts it with 25.2 PSI of turbo pressure 
compared to the 17.7 PSI in the previous base engine. The DBX707 eagerly invites you to press the gas pedal, delivering a powerful surge from a standstill that only intensifies as speed builds. The 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint takes just 3.1 seconds, according to both Aston Martin and my own seat of the pants assessment, and this beast can reach a top speed of 193 miles per hour. The proper British gents at Aston also gave the engine a wailing banshee scream. Its deep rumble is a constant companion, and it raises in pitch and intensity when you get on the gas. It also lets out braps between gears, as well as pops and crackles on overrun. Turn up the drive mode to Sport or Sport Plus, and it gets even louder and deeper, burrowing its drumbeat into your soul. It's never subdued when you dig deep into the throttle, so some suburbanites might feel it's just too much. Power flows to all four wheels through a Mercedes 9-speed automatic transmission with a wet clutch, the same trans used in most AMG products. The all-wheel drive system is fully variable. It sends about 70% of the power to the rear wheels in the default GT mode, and that goes to 90-95% to in the Sport and Sport Plus modes, though normal cruising sends all the power to the rear as the front tires aren't needed. With GT, Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, Terrain, and wet modes at my disposal, I give the first three a try. Throttle response is relatively sedate in GT. The throttle perks up in Sport mode, and the 9. Speed shifts crack off even quicker. Both get even quicker in Sport Plus, but Aston says Sport Mode is the quicker way around a track, as Sport Plus loosens the stability control to let the DBX slide. Slides aren't a good idea on public roads, however, so I can't feel that difference. Eventually, I configure individual mode to my liking by going with the sportiest settings for the exhaust and powertrain but opting for the softest damper setting. The ride with these optional 23-inch wheels gets a little crispy in the Sport and Sport Plus modes without rattling my teeth, but I still prefer the firm but forgiving GT ride quality. The 22s should provide a little softer ride. Aston Martin doesn't provide a reason to use terrain mode on this drive, and I can't imagine the low-profile Pirelli P0 tires would do well on anything other than a dirt road to a campsite. The 1.8 inches of additional ride height will help it get over minor obstacles on the way to those campsites, though. I also have no chance to tow. The DBX is rated to pull a decent 5,940 pounds, and that hitch receiver looks awfully weird beneath the optional carbon fiber rear diffuser of this test vehicle. Aston Martin DBX 707 Ultra Luxury Interior I'm seeing red the entire drive not just because I want to attack the road or dig deep into the power, but because this tester is painted a deep supernova red with a spicy red semi-aniline leather interior. Separately, I like both colors, but they don't match because the exterior is darker than the interior. Both colors are part of the extroverted character of the DBX. Don't like red? You can also opt for orange, a variety of blues and greens, purple, mocha, tan, and yes, black. Most of those hues aren't exactly understated. The red paint is a $13,600 Q special option, while the interior adds $11,900 for its monochromatic red upholstery, $3,300 for its matching carpet, $3,100 for its synthetic suede headliner, $900 for its heated steering wheel. Thanks for watching.